Hey, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I hope you all had a great weekend and if you are new to the channel, welcome. My name is Gus Noah. So a little quick reminder for you guys, last week I released a pack of five LUTs for video editing. I will be leaving the link for that down below in the description. It is on Etsy and as well I will be leaving the link down below for how I use them and apply them in videos in the last week's tutorial for that pack. So. Now let's get into tutorial number 17. So the topic that I'm going to be showing you all today is a real quick tutorial, nothing too long or anything, but for a lot of people they have issues with their audio recordings and the vocals or whatever interviews they're taking. So there's a real simple effect in Premiere Pro that I use that helps improve those audio recordings. So now let's get into Premiere Pro so I can show you guys how to apply this effect and make your recordings a hundred times better. Okay, so now that we're in Premiere Pro, here is the soundbite that I'm going to be using to show you guys as an example for this effect. So let's hear it real quick without the effect. It might not exactly be through speaking, but for others their voices are found inside of their art. So that's how it sounds without the effect and now let's add the effect. So let's go up to effects and type in multi band compressor and you're going to see two pop up you're going to see one that says obsolete and one that does not you're going to want to use a multi-band compressor one not the obsolete one so click and drag that onto the sound bite and then now you're going to need to go to effect controls to multi-band compressor and click edit and you're going to see the preset is already selected to broadcast that is the preset we're going to be using but is not activated so what we're going to have to do is click it click another one whichever one it doesn't matter and then re-click broadcast to activate it so now it's activated let's exit out of here and now let's hear how it sounds with the effect it might not exactly be through speaking but for others their voices are found inside of their art and as you see it's louder there's more depth to it when you add this effect so let's hear it without it again and then we'll do it again with it it might not exactly be through speaking but for others, their voices are found inside of their art. Okay, and now with. It might not exactly be through speaking, but for others, their voices are found inside of their art. So that is how the effect works. That is how you apply it to your sound bites. It works really well when you're doing interviews or whenever you're recording someone speaking. It really helps raise the vocals and add more depth to it. I always use this whenever I do any shots where I'm recording people or wherever there's sound bites of people speaking. So if this tutorial helped you in any kind of way, please subscribe and like. I'll be trying to do a tutorial once a week. And also remember guys, I left a link down below in the description for Etsy of the five LUTs of that package i released last week and as well i will be leaving the link for the tutorial on how to use them down below so thank you for watching